everybody can see you. What up all, Darby from Mindless Productions, continuing Thief, Master, and Custom Difficulty Guide. This video, actually this is the last video of chapter one, so. Yeah, no need to uh, tell you where we get to. Anyway, uh, so we're going to start off here in this front room. This is the big main room for this mission. This is where all the expensive stuff is, and this is where you'll get the majority of your money. Um, the big trick here, especially since we can't knock out or alert anybody, is dealing with this patrolling guard. So he... <clears throat> excuse me. He has three stops in this room. One at each end, and then once there in the middle, like you just saw. So you have to kind of work your way around him. And it's actually a lot of fun. It makes you, uh, to me at least, it makes me feel like an actual badass thief. Uh, I'm stealing all of this stuff right under this guy's nose, and it just it feels good. So with his back turned, uh, when he's walking the other way, go ahead and clear as much as you can of this side of the room. And then we're just going to kind of work our way across. You can use these uh, display tables here as cover. And one little detail this game gets very well is, um, you know, you, you see you open a display table like that. If you were to leave it open and he comes walking by, it'll kind of put him in a suspicious alert state. It won't fail us for the sake of the custom difficulty, but it'll put him at an alert and it'll change up his pattern a little bit. And it's just enough to really throw off the plan. So be sure you close back the display tables. Be sure you, you know, kind of cover your tracks a little bit. Now, I don't know if it works with cupboards and drawers and stuff, but I know it works with display tables and safes are the two big ones. So, just better safe than sorry. Alright, so that's, uh, once you clear this room out, that's pretty much it. Uh, the second floor has a few goodies, but nothing too big. And no patrolling guards, just one sleeping guard, so... Nothing too crazy to worry about. So I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to let me know. Uh, and I guess that's about it. Uh, peace out, y'all. Doesn't feel safe on the streets. <clears throat> God, it's the grave holes. I should get more sleep. Must be like Rove's fake. It's the best kind of fake, though. One that'll make good coin. I'd welcome some warm coffee.
Well, this beats being on the rake. Curse this city in its dirty shadows. This is my way out, but once I drop down, there's no coming back. The old man remembers the Shalebridge fires. Flames so bright, night became day. Or was it is this smoke so Watch dark, alley. day became I'll night? Need to step well, I read that before the Baron was born, the city was at war. Read it, did you? Oh, you're God, kidding! You're I swear. Oh, please, sir. <laughs> please, sir. You can smell that he shit himself. <laughs> do you have to do that here? You think sleep's not rare enough? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Captain's orders. He said go stand under the window of that woman on Bleach Market. Her with a face that the rakers would throw back in the river. <laughs> Try to make it crack a smile. <laughs> Boys, die of the gloom already! Do everyone a favor! Careful. She's off to fetch the piss pot. <laughs> They cry about martial law, but you don't see him leaving. We locked the gates, you fog skull. What's happened to this place? They say old what's his name's gone down with the gloom. Who? Bah. He had it coming. Oh, I'm hungry. Baron should have heard speeches about this lockdown business. People love fancy <clears throat> speeches. When was the last time anyone saw his face? Uh, you can smell the river from here. You're from up Eastport way, right? 
Is the gloom there yet? Yep. River drains were clogged with the drowned. It was ripe. Like a giant sloop. Hey, come on. I just ate some of that before.